No, really, I mean, look at this approach. What are we doing? What is going on? Now, hey guys, welcome back to the channel, another Swiss 001 video, and welcome back on board a very special plane, and that is, of course, this Embraer 175. I do like Embraer planes quite a lot. Uh, you know, they are a Brazilian aircraft manufacturer. You know, they make small regional jets mostly, right? Small regional jets that can, for example, fly to airports like this, London City. I think this is actually one of the biggest ones to be able to fly here. The absolute biggest plane to fly here, by the way, is the A318, the baby bus. Anyway, absolutely nice plane. I like this a lot. But um, here in the flight simulator, the flight simulator model here that we have, I've had a few differences with. See, and I'm not the only one. This is the add-on here that's for sale for 25 euros. The ratings aren't all that good at three stars because there's something about this plane that I think makes it almost unflyable. I did try to fly it recently in the stream and it was impossible to do some stuff. So let's just talk about that. See, I have already posted a small review video about that plane, but today I'm going to try to deal with the issue that this aircraft has. All right, so let's talk this through right now. What I really like about this plane is the exterior model. I think it's absolutely beautiful. I mean, the plane in real life is beautiful. I, I can really cannot complain about that. The exterior is really done well. But if you go into the cockpit, we really start to complain, I guess. I mean, look at the, I mean, <laughs> let's just start with a primary flight display. It's that from an Airbus. The real Embraer 175 PFD does not look anything like this. This is genuinely A320, isn't it? But what is okay is, you know, the menus, they're all right. Uh, for example, that is quite realistic. We've even got a touch screen. I don't even know, is that a thing in real life? But yeah, we have all this, this ACAS display thing that we can do, you know, fuel it up. Everything works quite well. But, you know, other than that in the cockpit, it's not, hmm particularly beautiful and we are in the motor player that's why the 747 is just kind of rolling into us even though the overhead panel looks quite the best what i like about this overhead panel by the way as well is that it you know most of these switches actually work that's actually really not all too bad the system simulation is not bad about this plane i liked that very much look, look here this has gone quite well the button up here works right that's quite amazing to see. Down here, most of the switches work as well. So from that part, it's not really bad. This plane from the inside is quite nicely detailed. But there's one thing about it that doesn't really make sense. And you can start to already... What was what was that? I just released the parking brake and the engines are running at full power. And, um, well, and that was a bit of an insight here, this little wheelie, about the little problems I have about this aircraft. And the biggest problem is flying it itself. The physics simulation is absolutely absolutely horrible this plane flies just crazy just like not any plane of this size would ever fly let's just go ahead and take off that was just that was a very very relatively quick takeoff there what the hell was that i wouldn't expect that to see from an Embraer. but the actual issues come when you really try to maneuver around and like an approach here we go now in real time speed at 300 knots which is quite fast but look at how this plane moves yes the physics simulation is very bad it's not really that easy to tell on on, on the video recording i would guess look look at i mean this is literally a stunt plane you would never be able to see an Embraer do this kind of dolphin movement here at 200 knots. This is even that fast. Apparently, the physics uh, simulation, the whole data rest of what this aircraft is, from the physics-wise, how it behaves in mid-air, is stolen from the CJ-4 private jet that's already implemented in the flight simulator, you know? Which actually would kind of make sense. This I've noticed this too. This does fly very similar also to the CJ-4. It does this kind of dolphin maneuver very much easily because it's a small jet very light one this is not a small jet anymore this is a Embraer 175 imagine looking out of the window in your London home and seeing a plane like this do this kind of movement definitely not and really honestly I have a bit of a problem with the physics being this off I mean why didn't they just take it from the a320 that would have been much better but you know actually with the plane being this shaky and responsive to anything really it's super hard to land it coming for like a stable approach you're almost always ending up with like a paro kind of approach no really I mean look at this approach what are we doing what is going on Seriously, it is super hard to make a nice landing with this aircraft. Let me just demonstrate exactly that. Especially here from the cockpit, it's absolutely weird. Okay, let me try our general challenge here. <clears throat> landing smoothly, am I right? There we go. Okay. 
Okay, it's time to stop now. Let's see if that's gonna work. Plane does fly here in real life, so if this doesn't work, then uh, this, something's off with the physics. I mean, if it would at least stop as fast as the CJ4 does, but it doesn't even stop fast. Quite weird. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I did have some major issues when I was streaming with this aircraft stopping. I'm literally pressing fully into the brakes. How did we use pretty much the whole runway of London City? I mean, okay. But I mean, let's look at this landing from the outside view. Look. Is this supposed to be realistic? I mean, that's actually been probably the smoothest landing I could have ever done with this aircraft. And in general, this plane f performs so weirdly. How are we at a... What was that? But like, in general, it's pretty damn hard to make somewhat of like a stable, smooth flight. Look... <laughs> this, is, this looks absolutely ridiculous. How is this even possible? Mm -hmm. Also, it like behaves super weirdly. Well, oh. Oh, no, that's not gone very well. Now, that's been messed up. There we go. What's, what is this nose landing gear movement right here? Everything about the physics, how it moves, even on the ground, is super strange. But it always also flips to the side of the aircraft. <laughs> Rest in peace, wings. That's also been a very, very bad landing, hasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, seriously, I'm not all too impressed. I especially run into a lot of uh, problems when landing at, you know, smaller airfields. For example, like a thousand meter long runway, normally somewhat doable in the ERJ 170, right? But not really here with this one, because, I mean, just, it, it very much lacks precision, because there's too much precision. Does that make sense? Not quite sure, just... It's just flies super weird. Okay, let's maybe go on and try to stop. <laughs> just, just like how the rudder is responsive as it is. Imagine seeing that on the ground. What the hell? <laughs> I'm kind of sorry about that landing gear here. I had to suffer quite a bit. What is this landing, dude? What has that been? What has it touched? It, it kind of looks like it's, it's like flying at t two times the speed. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it would describe the physical um, capabilities of this aircraft as um, paper plane. That's kind of what it is. You know what? I have an idea. Maybe it's just really me doing all the issues, right? Maybe it's just my pilot skills that are not good enough to fly this airplane. So, you know, I'm going to try to have the AI fly the plane. Maybe it's going to be smoother with the controls or something like that. I mean, and technically on paper it is. It never puts in too many inputs at all. It's just very, very flat and plainly flying the plane. Let's maybe see how the AI performs here. Well, um, not all too good. Yeah, I've just been really having issues with this aircraft, with the physics-wise. It's absolutely beautiful, and it works quite well from the cockpit. But maybe they should have transferred the data rest from the A320, right? If you steal it, then steal it properly. That's my advice for life. And I think you can keep that as well. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. And as always, good night. Now, thank you to all my members here on YouTube, like Block, Emite, Mubarak, Mike, Ethan, Darren, Stefan, Ian, uh, Oman the Human, Rafael Brokowski, Junk in the Trunk, Moritz, uh, Toby, Great Grandpa John, Government Pasta, Calamity Airlines, Kelly Chaos, New York, uh, Tyler Park, Chista Ritos, Shadow, Anime Planes, Razor One, X Men Show, Lair, the Slama, Puturing, Kellen, Me By You, Captain Cameron, Spiro, uh, Gary, Norwegian, Bajel, and Pyrology.